YouTube. We totally didn't just redo the intro. Welcome to part six of Alone in the Dark, which we are playing tonight and finishing. The chat on the screen is broken, but all of the people are arriving and they're probably saying nice things and are very kind to you. Wow, chat, thanks for all arriving. There's so many of you. I think it was part, yeah, I think, I'm not sure if it is part seven or not, but whichever it is, the part you can read in the title. Thanks for being here. Chat is here, they're arriving, um, and so are we into the game. Welcome in. Hello, YouTube. Hello, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> Today's a little bit all over the place. Part 6, part 7, part 11. We don't know. Yeah, if you're watching this in the future, you will know by reading the title of, of this video. <laughs> Either way, welcome. Um, we're playing alone in the dark. We're playing alone in the dark and I think we're going to finish it tonight because we are uh, closing in on the end. And we know exactly what to do because uh, we have played through this with Emily already. And now we're on the second character playing through it as Mr. David Harbour. Look at that. Uh, chat is being little rascal. Some excuse, excuse all the alerts happening. Isn't the new course there a chair amazing? You do. Yeah, hashtag sponsored. We have been hashtag sponsored now by Corsair. Very exciting. So if you're seeing the new logo in the top and the new logo back here. Hashtag rocking Corsair. Thanks, Corsair, for sponsoring this stream. Um, um, thanks for the food that beats also. Thank you so much. Thank you for arriving, everybody. Thank you for being here. Also, Selena, I wanted to say what you said. No, I don't. If you mean like ads in the middle of the stream, I don't run. I've actually never ran ads. Um, I just really personally uh, prefer it to have. I know pre rolls are making it harder for people to browse. But personally, I'd rather, I'd rather make sure that the people who are like lurking, binge lurking the stream for hours, that they have a good experience and not get interrupted, like every half hour or so, uh, then cater to people who are browsing who might not even find the stream suitable for them. Um, I want to make sure that they, for the people who decide to come Julie by here. Can't be time. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, th but that's my personal take on it. I know I'm in the minority. I know most people prefer to not have pre-rolls. Uh, but I, as a huge Twitch viewer, like I watch so much Twitch. Um, and and I really struggle to, like I binge watch channels. I sit for hours with the same with the same channel up. And when there is an ad every half hour that is like three minutes long or, or maybe one and a half or something, uh, I get so distracted because I'm just all over the place. I might go to another tab and then I forget to come back. Um, and I, I and I personally feel like I I don't want there to be any interruptions for anybody who has come by the stream. How oh, dare you have your own opinion? I know, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So everybody does their own thing and that's completely fine. But I, I per my my view on it is that i want to make sure that people who are actively coming by and decide to stay for hours i want to make sure that they are having a good experience uninterrupted without any ads if they are unsubscribed um even if they have to watch an ad when they enter the stream there is that one to watch and then nothing else um that that's my take on it the chili con carn beating has stuck in my head ever since heck said <laughs> it's a good way to remember his name though right Chilo con Carnby. Hi, Infinity Simplex. Welcome. I don't think you can... Uh, no, I don't think it works. Quavis. Nothing works. But uh, if you are in a region where not a lot of people are purchasing ad space, you might not get ads. Um, so sometimes when people are doing ad breaks, I don't see ads because... I, and I don't have Turbo or any ad block or something, but um, I don't get an ad simply because nobody wanted to purchase ad space in Sweden so uh, yeah sometimes I don't see them so if you are in Norway you might not see a lot either because of that uh, Thomas hi thanks for coming by welcome and hello alone in the dark okay now I'm gonna click continue because uh, we're gonna continue this game is a uh, very much like OG Resident Evil games there's a lot of puzzlings, a uh, mystery, but it is also horror. So viewer discretion is advised, okay? Um, heads up. 
What to do? Thank you for recommending the paleontologist here on Twitch. So educational, fun to work. I'm so happy you like it, Brightness. Yeah, of course. I love his streams. I think they're so good. I love learning about dinosaurs. Um, so so glad to, to hear that you found a good a good stream in in them. Uh, that's awesome to hear. <laughs> Very educational. Love love me some dinosaurs. Um. Without further ado, let's play Alone in Dark. Viewer discretion is advised. Shall we do a recap? For those of you who don't know about this game, this is a game that came out in the 90s, uh, 1992. It kind of set the, the bar for um, horror survival games. Um, it inspired Resident Evil. And uh, two weeks ago, they made this game a remake or a reimagined version of this Alone in the Dark game. Uh, this is featuring, of course, if you think he looks familiar, it's uh, Mr. Um, David Hopper. Uh, there's also Yodi Comer, who is another character in this game. When you start the game, you get to choose who you want to play as. And I already played as her. So now we're doing a playthrough of this guy. I thought they would have completely different storylines, but they are quite similar not super similar but eh, or they are super similar but not not 100 so there's some new experiences but we are going through the game a little bit quicker um what's going on is that we are at this um, basically we are D david here mr carnaby is a uh, private detective uh, this is the 1930s Choo -choo! the 1930s in louisiana and um Mr. Carnaby here, private detective, was uh, brought along or hired by Emily Hartwood, a woman who, whose uncle was in this care facility here. Um, he apparently sent her a letter and said, don't come here. Oh, it's uh, cursed. I am cursed. Uh, stay away. And she was like, oh, I gotta go there. <laughs> so she came here and uh, apparently her uncle is missing. So we've been looking for him. Uh, all the while a bunch of supernatural things are happening uh, and uh, we're trying to figure out what's going on. There seems to be this cult going on uh, that all of the people, the staff in charge of this place is part of alongside the, the people who are staying at this facility. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. We're on the hunt for our, for her uncle who is gone. Um, and we keep traveling through time and space through weird events happening. Um, I don't know if they are supernatural. Now that we know a little more about the story, having finished Emily's playthrough, um, it might not be so much not supernatural as it is um, actually like they're having some uh, experiences themselves with like um traumatic events that they are uh, working through and uh, that is like taking them to um these different places that we end up in it's okay i shout in caps all the time it's fine also may the oats be ever in your favor good job everyone in the heist it's cool thanks for reminding me to drink okay If you have any questions about the game, uh, let us know. And now we go. Uh, where are we supposed to go? Take a look inside the empty room. I forgot where we were last time. Oh, last time we finished the boat, right? Okay. Um, yeah, let's go. Uh, also, hi! Anybody watching the VOD who fast-forwarded to when the game started? Welcome! <laughs> hi, you're here! We did it! And we're now here. Okay, let's go to the empty room. Brynjar! Welcome in! Thank you so much for joining! So, uh, there's apparently an empty room here that doesn't have any vacants in it. But we keep on having weird, strange feelings about the fact that maybe we were here before. Um, or not us, but the girl was here before. There's also a little girl who is staying at this place. And 
she apparently he recognizes her and i don't know what that is for um so we need to figure out what that's all about what a treasure in grace's drawing oh yeah we found the treasure didn't we but we don't have anything to unlock it with hmm. unless we use the dagger wait a minute maybe we can open it with a dagger hang on we found a dagger and we also know that there is a treasure inside of a treasure there's something hidden in a vent here this is what I mean with like OG Resident Evil vibes. There's this puzzle. Like Carfi has something hidden inside. Okay, never mind. We haven't picked up anything that we are able to use here. Yeah, back to that leaner, I guess. Doot doot doot. Idora, how you describe the game in details? Feels like watching a movie when the narrator gives a better notion of what's going on. I I know that not everybody. I'm glad you feel that way, Andrew. Um, thank you. Uh, I'm just uh, I I know that not everybody is catching is able to catch every single stream. So whenever we play a story game, I like to try to give a little bit of a recap so there is some context for people who might not have been here earlier in the playthrough. But I know it's hard to recap this everything. Is my room. What? I belong here. Didn't Emily say this too when she went here? And it looked the same? Okay, it seems like we are getting, like, when we go to different places here, it seems like we are, like, getting overcome with emotions. We still don't really know what's happening and why we are feeling this way. There seems to be some indications that um, people are having like suppressed trauma from their past and that is kind of making us have a lot of what seems to be supernatural experiences and we seem to be traveling through time and space. Um, but it's strange that they would have the same experience, that they would both be like, this is my room, I belong here. Why both of them would say that? That makes me think, like, is there some gases here? Are we getting poisoned? Um, there is also this whole weird side ordeal going on at the same time as we are struggling mentally with a lot of these things that we're going through. Um, there is, like, the people who live here are having a cult. Um, and they are praising a tree. And we don't know what's going on about that. But everybody seems in on it. Yeah, we might be getting... There might be alien gases. Not sure. Only problem with Hegivods are that they lead me to that man with sunglasses. Wait. That man with sunglasses and moustache? Who's that? I'm so confused. Oh, Hegi, see... Oh, yeah, I see you're posting our club emojis. the combination. I carry it with me. Gulp! Why does he sound like he's in a trance? You should come. I can't believe you. I didn't recognize you. Is any of this real? That Where's that from? I did this. You did I this. That. One nine six L A. Is that supposed to be a phone number or a street number? 196 something something something. Because it said something slightly different on the wall here when we played as Emily and she also said that she wrote it, but I think hers was like in in was towards her husband, no? Club, yeah, <laughs> the club. Okay, uh, shoot. 196. One, nine, six. One, nine, six. What? One, nine, six. Did I not do it right? Maybe it's maybe it's not left right left this time. One, 
Nine. That didn't work either. Thanks for the bless you. Uh, try again this time. One. Nine. Six. Eh? One. Nine. Six. Get it. Hi, Deal. Oops, wrong chat. <laughs> Somebody got me cells? Oh no, you. I hope they are okay. Whatever chat or whatever. Whatever stream that was in in regards to, I hope Darren is feeling fine. Eh? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I'm doing it in the wrong order. One nine six. Maybe it's six nine one. What? I <laughs> Why does this keep happening? That we're accidentally solving the... <laughs> that we wasn't... That wasn't even... Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna pretend that I, that was on purpose. This keeps happening in this game. That I solve the puzzles accidentally by just like randomly turning things around. Yeah, who needs skill when you... Wait, what do you mean lucky? Rooks, this is planned. I, I know what I'm doing. What? I know what I'm doing. Uh, okay, a key item. Picayune. An old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. What it was? I didn't even know that. Do they speak any Spanish? I thought it was French. Because it's uh, they call it Baton Rouge. I thought that was French. It's like you've been doing these pusses before. Yeah, they, they, we have done them because we played this game with the, the other character. But like, the, the this is different. This was a different code than last time. Back in 17th century? I didn't know. Detective Carnby. Detective. Oh. I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe, thanks to good people like me and you. What? We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. To find what? your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. Take care now. My coffee. Uh, okay. Yeah, see, this is completely different from the Emily Blazer. How long have I been here? Uh, about five minutes. But look, 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 it's like gassy in here. You see the smoke? Totally getting smokified. That's maybe why we're... We're like getting all these... Visions, maybe. That was impressive brute forcing. Oh, check the wall and then your inventory if you want to know the correct combination. The wall? Was there something that was... 913? Was that the one? Six, nine, one. I don't know what happened. But it worked. Both the Spanish and the French influenced New Orleans history. Oh. Hi, Trees. Welcome in. I guess we can open this vent with a coin now. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. It does. Let's open it with a Pika Uni. <laughs> Objective. Piece your memory together. What the heck is this? Is the McGorgon? Oh no. The missing picture. Ugh, the McGorgon. <laughs> Ugh. 
This is not very wholesome. Is this not the missing pe- So, we- As I said, there's a girl that lives here. And she had done a bunch of, like, cute little drawings. And then there was one drawing missing. Yes, this was the missing drawing. Maybe not as cute. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Yeah. Was he trying to keep Grace from completing his shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Yeah. It didn't she? What just ha- Whoa. Hello? Uh... Hello? Hello? What the hell happened in here? Bro, you have been through it so many times. <laughs> He's already have a bunch of weird, like, sh sh shifting through time and space. <laughs> what the heck happened here? Bro, he shouldn't be surprised by now. Also, yuck, mosquitoes. Does anybody have any repellent? Uh, yeah, the gas was really potent. <laughs> We're playing on hard, by the way. Ah! We played on on normal when we played as uh, Emily, and we shifted it to be hard. Sorry, the music might be a little too loud. I'm dragging it down. Let me know. Four bottles? Okay, let's go. We're, we're good to go. We got plenty of mosquito repellent. Axe. Yeah, take that rather. We're also on the hunt for collectibles. Why is the heartbeat? We're also on the hunt for collectibles because you can only basically the game is recommended to play to ah, I just only realized oh my gosh are they alive Ooh, they're like moving a little bit that's what the screeching is oh like five minutes I have kept hearing an echo and I was going bananas but I just had opened the stream in two times Imidiota I'm so sorry but I'm also glad that you found the uh, the reason what he dies from one shot okay yeah this is completely different from Emily's Splitter. It's recommended to play through um, the game twice, once once with each character, because um, you will be able to uh, get different experiences and different collectibles. So it's it's not really like playing the game twice. But they die so easily. You just need to hit them once. Which is actually good, because I'm using a controller. And I can't aim. <laughs> it's a bit loud still. Okay, hang on. Let me just... Here we go. I think this area in particular feels a little loud. Oh, we have unlimited, oh, unlimited access. Healing bullets. Why is there so many melee weapons? Am I supposed to not be using my weapons? Ah. Do they want me to use this? Weird. Okay. 
We're going in. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh no, no, wait! I my headset is breaking. Oh no, it's back to normal. I wanted to switch out my hatchet while I could. Okay. Uh, Cassandra, are you in here? Two people of the... No, three people of the... Of the ten tenants here have mysteriously died, by the way. And I don't know if that's the cult sacrificing them or what's going on, but... That's also something that we are confused about. There's a lot of questions about this game. The bath is ready, chat! Time to get real clean! <laughs> is there flies above the water? <laughs> it's like playing the game from two different perspectives. Yeah, but like it's a little bit different because I, I feel like... I feel like the other characters did other things while we were playing the game and I thought I would do that. That makes sense. Picky, you. You. Exer. Thanks for bringing the flashlight. We're definitely investigating now. Oh, never mind. Going back. You like what we found, apparently. Treasure Quarry. Thank you for the beats. I try not to play on high difficulty after Souls games for some reason. You know what? If you've completed the Souls games, I think that's a uh, it's a great way, of, great time to just be like, yeah, I did that. I'm not gonna go through that ever again. <laughs> I do enjoy struggling in games. I don't mind playing on hard difficulties because it makes it feel like I feel more accomplished when we beat them if i have been struggling now that said i also don't mind playing on sometimes normal difficulties like when we started this game we played on normal originally because i just wanted to experience the story and now we're doing with the other character and we chose hard because we were a little more familiar with the game and also yeah okay look at this pretty drawing collection now we're gonna add the demogorgon i'm sure nothing bad could ever happen right right it's gonna be really Good times? Mm? Not like the mold is crawling around on the pictures or anything, right? Oh, we need to puzzle them around! Fun! I love puzzles. Um, Resident Evil 2. Uh, wha what do you mean? Resident Evil 2? This game feels uh, familiar to Resident Evil 2. And then Resident Evil in general. Resident Evil 1, actually, if anything. Um, let me get this. It actually. Um, yes. Your first thought that he might be researching the cult was a cool one. And I'm a little sad we aren't, but also this has been good still. Yeah, I really hoped that he was gonna, that we were gonna see the inv cult investigation part. I thought that would have been really neat. Am I wrong here? I might be wrong. Maybe like so. Maybe like... Eh? Oh, I didn't see the roots there. Okay, here we go. Huh? What? I was doing this on his own. I was like, no! <laughs> I don't know which numbers. We did! 
all the two different characters done different things during the game. Yes, but the, exactly, exactly, with the two different characters. Um, I think that's, as I said, people have said that this game, when it was out in the 90s, this is what inspired Resident Evil. So, uh, because this one had both fixed and... It had both fixed angles and it had two different characters you can play through and they do a little bit different things. Um, and also... Sorry, I'm just reloading all my weapons. Um, and also this little puzzle and everything. So you can see a lot of Resident Evil vibes in this game. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no, oh I thought it was stuck. Okay. Alright, let's go outside. Why is my health so low? Go go. Is the attack of the flies? Hang on a second. This is not where we were before. Whole room changed look. Call of Cthulhu vibes? I have not played that. If it's a game. But I guess if it did break this looks familiar. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. Oh yeah, he says Jeremy. Jeremy is the uncle that we are looking for. And we originally thought that like he was creating these things in his mind, and that's why we were ended up why we ended up in weird places because Jeremy took us there with his mind somehow. Writing this key. But I think we have come to the theory. Isn't it? Yeah, we've we'll come to the theory that been since I drowned myself in drinking depression. And it all felt so peaceful slipping. It's away their into own the thoughts. A welcoming dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. It turned off suddenly as I woke up from the sound of my office door closing shut. A messenger had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. That she had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Oh! Is that it? Her Why husband and so kidnapped daughter. When was this exactly? Is that the what kid? Oh my gosh, was he working on a missing case? So that's the missing, the kidnapped daughter? Grace, the child? Look, it's his place, Edward Carnby. 2014 was 10 years ago, I know, it's wild, what has happened in time? So this is his office. New Orleans Daily Champion for the second time. Okay, mysterious sightings. Okay. Wanted. Robbery. Nancy Smith. Earl Bruno. Casey Jones. I don't think we know them. We don't know either. Hey, we need to plop up something new there. Telegram. Hmm. My husband has returned to steal one of our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriella Saunders. What? She's snitching on her husband. Mikey! Hey! The Matrix came out 25 years ago? Wait, is it not loading the stream? Lurking, but I'm getting near constant buffering. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spoop! Oh no! Michael, hi! I know you can't hear me, maybe. The conspiracy! Okay. Ow! Writing desk key. It's a crumpled paper. P Piano tropist, I almost said. Philanthropist. 
Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child from 1928. Theodore Saunders. So that's from the. Did it say December? Photograph of a man. That doesn't look like the guy who is hanging out with a child all the time, right? It's not her dad who kidnapped Telegram. Mrs. Saunders says her husband has stolen a painting and means to sell it. Headline, little boy to little toy shop burglarized. What? That's not what it said. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Little toy shop burglarized. I remember this case. Ah. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Dun, dun. Hey, Crash Bandicoot, welcome in. Where does the red thread go? What? <laughs> what? How did we make that happen? Oh, wow, that's a long yarn. How did we? How did we? <laughs> how did we do that? Blowing in the wind. <gasps> Magic. Magic. Hello? Anyone here? Placing red yarns around? Fishmonger. Oh my gosh, it's going through town? Okay, since we have never been here, we need to be thorough now. There might be collectibles. What do you mean I'm full of shotgun shells? I can only hold eight. Not cool. I can't go that way. Now I need to be thorough so that we don't miss any collectibles. Because we haven't been here before. Need to look at everything. Oh, that's a lot of crows. Kind of eerie. Blah, 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 blah. This game has a lot of evil within vibes going on. E Crash Bandicoot, I can see what you mean. I can see what you mean, for sure. But like, a lot of survival horror games have these vibes, I think. They did a good job on setting this up. Whoa! Look at those! They're going wild! I think there's poltergeists. Bing, bing, bing. Post again, post, postergeist. There's stuff spilling out. The Couture Street, Iberville Street. Daily post on sale here. Can I buy one? Antiques? No. Right in the middle of the road? No. Haunted plants! Is that supposed to be sticking its tongue out, Croissant? Why do I almost call you Immediata several times, Croissant? I have a place in my heart for you because. Oi! Whee! Oh, oh no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no! No, he did it again. Crash Bandicoot, thank you for the 100 beats. He done it again, chat. Oh, never mind. No. Yes, mind. Yeah? No. Wait. I've done it again. I'm never mind. I'm mad. I keep getting stuck in this game. 
stuck everywhere all the time. That is a ladder. Can we go there? Maybe through the store of Tom Tornhill's fine art. Let me in! It was just chickens! No, his pears. <laughs> I thought it was a bucket full of chickens! I was so excited! No, oh, never mind. It's just pears. Ah! Tom Holland's lip sync is happening in game right now. Lip sync. When he's dancing in the rain? You got us connected in your head and I love it. Yeah, there is something about I don't know why, but I this has happened more than once that I like immediate I say accidentally say immediata when I make croissant or the other way around. You are connected in my head somewhere. Oh, no, it wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his deal. Eh? So he needed some convincing. Thornhill wasn't a bad guy. What do you mean? He just kidnapped a child. Well, every case can't be squeaky clean. Definitely not chickens. <laughs> that would have been a nice chicken painting, though. Hey, Likinar! Welcome in! Who are these people? Wow. Was it the lighthouse at... Whatever it is. The world wonder? Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Are they putting bullet inside of their cash register? Can't even pick them up. Air leash! I was looking for you. Whoa. That looks like a portal. Good night, Mati. Take care. Theft? I haven't taken anything! I was full in my pockets. I couldn't even if I wanted to. Here. Please take it brute forcing one of the saves again. <laughs> no, it was my skills. I knew, I just sensed what was going on. Could sense it. Mm, anybody feeling a little peggish? I think there's some old oysters here. Sure, they're not that old. Anyone want some oysters? Yeah. Uh, Tranced, welcome in. Thanks for joining. Hello and welcome. Buti, Bullhorn. Hmm. Sounds like I should drink something. Skull. Did it just say drink when we picked that up, by the way? Are we not drinking health potions? Are we just drinking, like, bottles of liquor or something? Because that might explain why we are, you know, going all over the place. Traveling time and space. Swedish yin. Nice. What three four trophies I have left are bugged. What? Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornhill, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on an easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. It does look I felt mesmerizing. Falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill. Thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asking me to get the hell out. Eh? I don't remember this at all. I can't say. We're anything. finally going to St. George Hotel. Help! <laughs> oh no, what are you doing here? What's he, what's he doing? Did he just ice skate forward? He just like moonwalked towards us. Wait, I need to reload kindly. Wait, stand by. 
Now I will shoot you. No, don't attack. I will shoot you. Okay, shotgun is very powerful. That's good. Hey, Kool Aid. Was that the Kool Aid man? <laughs> Breaking through the wall? Oh, yeah. He said he was a bit lost in a few years. A few years? Chatterbox. <gasps> Is that to talk to everyone? I don't think I exhausted the first dialogue with Emily, so I think I can't get that. Norwegian stuff is overpriced. Oh, do you live near the border? I know a lot of Norwegians come to Sweden to buy stuff because we are cheaper. Okay, apparently this is a sneaky area, so let's be sneaky. But I also need to go and look in every corner so that we don't miss any collectibles. Osterich Skansen? Oh, cool! Yeah, a lot of Norwegians come to Sweden to buy items because it's like groceries and stuff because it's too... It's cheaper here. And a lot of Swedes drive to Denmark. They have much cheaper beer. And the Danes drive to Germany. <laughs> but Norway is the most expensive one. But Swedes go to Norway to work instead because the salaries are higher. Okay, the red thread continues there, so let's go this direction first. If this is optional, I would like to where we get all the collectibles here first. Nothing. Yeah. What? Why? What do you mean? I was being so sneaky. What happened to the music? Dun, dun, dun. I can't go that way. I can't? It looks so big and open. Boo! Okay. Your ex used to live in Trollhättan. That's interesting. I've been there once. I think. Well, I think I drove through it, actually. That's where they all make all the movies in Sweden. Tro Trollywood. Something like that. I've talked to everything with everyone. In three of my four playthroughs now. Why is there a missing one? So you got all the 100%. Troll yeah, Troll Hitan. Is this the same read we were on in the... Ah! Sorry. Oh no, I'm gonna have to waste my bullets! Ow, oh, don't eat my head! I only have one of those! Oh no, oh no. Oh no, oh no. Here. Okay, it's okay. My shotgun is very strong. Kinda wish I could pick up those bullets we left behind now. I don't have any... I don't have any shotgun bullets left now. I, I wish we could upgrade the... Um, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me! Exe... Oh. <sighs> I think they need to maybe... Look over their... Past... Finding in this game. <laughs> Pong chomp! Rub it in Erlich's face. No, what I mean is that it's possible to get 100% of the achievements. But do you play on the same thing? Toyo, did you play on 
computer? Ted, I'm stuck. I'm like Ledis Ledistuk. I'm I'm legit stuck. I don't know how to get out of here. So you played on com PS5. Computer 5. You can do it, Carnaby! He's really trying, Trishikori. Um I genuinely think I'm stuck, chat. I don't think I can get out of here. Do I have to reload the save file? You can save and reload? Oh, will that work? Say now, then reload one. I'm worried. Am I not overwriting my autosave now? What if I have to restart from the entire beginning? When is the autosave? That's not too many minutes ago. I, th I think I'd rather open the autosave than save and then save and, and load. Because the autosave is not too far away. That was only 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. Loading it. Saving now will keep items killed. Keep ki in here. Oh, it's before this. Oh, we did that much in 10 minutes. Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting. Okay. For him, hoping the money would okay, we get to rewatch this. <laughs> the painting now leaning on. Doug Admire, thank you for being here. Mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me. That was a lot there, We went here something. and then we went outside. I felt myself falling into the painting, only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand. And asked him to get the hell out. Thornhill. Wait, Thornhill wasn't the guy. Thornhill was the one who got burglarized. The art collector. Never mind that. Ah, I forgot about that. I can't believe I got scared again. No. I can't believe the same jump scare got me twice. Ow! Oh my gosh, I died! Oh no, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess we have to watch that little cutscene one more time. And for those of you who, I mean, I did this on purpose so that those of you who missed out on it, you get to see it one more time. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? You missed it out Mr. first Saunders time? Here you go. Painting to Thorn, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. Oh, Thornhill. Now leaning on the easel in Thornhill's bedroom. Oh, Thornhill's bedroom? Oh. Some gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. Yeah. I felt myself falling into the painting. Into the Only painting? Being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand and asked him to get the hell out. Wow, we're going to St. George? I can't believe it. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen no, now. Better have my I gun out and ready if something were to come out through the wall. Oh no, what? How did that happen? I have no idea. Something was going to come out the wall. Ah! <laughs> Okay, Chad, I got everything under control. <laughs> Don't you worry. There we go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was planned. Everything was super planned. Don't worry about it. Um. Yeah. Also, um. Good night, uh, Narga. Thank you so much for coming over. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Have a good sleep. Wow, thanks for still sticking around. Legasus, hello, I like your profile pic. Thanks. It's my face. Also, how do we get so hurt? I can't believe this keeps happening. Okay, we have one more chance to look if we missed any collectibles here. Oh my gosh. I keep walking into things and I get kind of stuck. This is a very pretty place. I wish there was more to interact with. 
Also scary doll, gulp. Wait a minute. Is this not the dolls that the girl has in her room? Grace? I think she had them. Uh, just a normal everyday thing. Okay, now we just sneak because we know that we, there was no collectibles here. And not even any loot, I think. Except in that other place. <laughs> Wait, didn't we go? Oh, we go through here. Here's where the loot is at. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just coming to take some loot. Oh, he woke up because he was right there. What? How did you notice me? You stop puking on me. Kind of rude, sir. Sir, kindly. Kindly, very not rude of you. I can't go that way. Oh no, there's so many of them. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. I mean, can you stop, please? I'm just looking for some loot. Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck with. I'm savage. I can't move. Shit. Sneaking so useless. Yeah, you think it's funny because when you start sneaking, it's like you press Y to to lurk. Emma said you press Y to sneak, and this is me sneaking. Look, 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 look. <laughs> sneaking, not sneaking, sneaking, not sneaking. Can you can you imagine like how much sound you must make walking with your legs like this? Imagine. I'm sneaking. I feel like I would definitely make more sound like this. Because this is like taking a toll of your freaking thighs. You cannot skip leg day in order to be able to sneak like this. I think I would be much more silent walking around like this. You can just tiptoe, you know? Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to the <laughs> hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. Oh, oh yeah, oh you look at this brand new the voice line we've never heard. Mesmerizing gloom seemed to call out to me what? telling me i was needed for something important i felt myself falling into the paint only being brought back by thornhill thrusting an address to a hotel saint george into my hand and asking me to get the hell out dang can't believe it we're going to hotel george oh i forgot i forgot I don't remember this at all chat be ready I prepare where why did it It changed my aiming. At least we were so ready this time, we didn't even have to take damage. Oh, yeah. Should I maybe... Should I maybe just not sneak here? Should we just leg it? No, you know what we're gonna do? I'm just not gonna go and grab items. I'm gonna follow the red line because no matter what we do when we go to the other space here to the left and we loot it we trigger a monster and we have to fight them and if we have to fight a monster we're gonna be spending ammo the ammo that we just picked up anyway i feel like it doesn't matter bro i can't even go here he's sliding around Are you serious? I was freaking sneaking. Yeah, I'm legging it. I'm legging it. I'm getting out of here. Bye, everyone. Have a nice. It was gonna burn you. Okay, never mind. I'm leaving. Go, 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 close him again. That's so silly. This was opening and closing the doors. Okay. They forgot that we were here. It's all good, chat. Don't don't you worry. Hi, Six is welcome. 
What are you doing? I only have one healing left. Can you use it? And that is that. This, that this feels like... It actually does feel a lot like the evil within. Where are you? Is there enemy noises? Hello? Hey! <coughs> Oi, sorry, I'm sneezing so much now. Oh, healing, thank you. Bling, bling! Wait, <laughs> the music stopped. Do, do. Watch out, enemies! Do, do. And the candelabra! Heck yeah. Thanks for the bless yous, thank you. And ask, thank you so much. Wow, three stream streaks. Thanks for watching three streams in a row. I'm gonna sneak now. Wow, this doesn't look great. Somebody crashed into the park. Is there an enemy around? Sneaking takes forever. But I'm gonna run. Wow, this is cool! Thumbnail time. <laughs> wow! That's cool. Beautiful. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, T tours. Tours for possible uh, YouTube thumbnail. Oi, 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 oi. Yeah. Yeah. Get stuck. Should I save here? I'm gonna save. I don't wanna have to replay that thing again. <laughs> um, save uh, the. Dude, which one was the one the last playthrough with her? Oh, you see it on their faces. Oh, okay, I'm saving here then. I didn't realize you can see their faces in the save files. Oh no, we were the ones who crashed into the park? Okay, that's not great. Just double check if there's any collectibles. Time to take a selfie! Reminds me of Royal- Wait, the the Royal Palace in Stockholm, you mean? Where the king is living? Wonder what that place is. <sighs> is there no collectibles anywhere in the park? We need like three more, I think. Uh, in order to get all of them. Can't think right with from this side. You have a car emote, Indigo? Car slide emote. On my way to the hotel, the morning gang caught up with me. I owed them money, a lot of them. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out, and I sent the others packing. It was a stupid move. They knew back. Is this what we were. Oh! Game lag. Is this what we were doing? Who's that? No! Stop! Not the boss fight. We have to. Boss pities. He has like five billion hands coming out of his hand. Bro, chill out. I took off his arm. His noodle gone. 
We'll go over the legs. Oi, so that they would get their legs off. That sounds actually kind of good. Then they cannot run. Is that possible? I feel like... Whoa! It, why am I just standing here? I feel like maybe they don't do as much damage though. Maybe? Leg shot? Also, hey, Mayor! Welcome! His charges? If we hit them with two shots in a good place, it seems like they die. Can you go up here? No! I missed my entire shot! I wasted so many bullets, I have barely any now. Game, you better give me some good loot now. Nope. Well. Skull and skull. Daily bulletin. Sorry, we're closed. Come again. Oh, it was a long time of being open. 9 p.m. A lot. Soda. Sparkling. Thirst quenching? What? It's Nuka Cola! 9pm? I'm barely awake. <laughs> the heck? So <That was> early. <clears throat> Do that high pitched voice on purpose? High pitched voice? What do you mean? My voice? Or what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean when I'm excited? Oh my gosh! I don't think I sound like that when I'm excited. I probably sound maybe a little different. Can we place an order for soda? Yeah, I would like to. <laughs> hmm, it's just my voice. Also, uh, meat if you want that, sexes. There are a lot of different things. Oh, here is Hotel St. George. Here is the picture. Hotel St. George. Welcome to the Hotel St. George. Yeah. I notice sometimes your voice changes to a bit higher pitch. It might. Some days it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited! You know? Other days I'm like, oh, good morning, everybody. But I think that's maybe. No, don't everybody have that? <laughs> don't everybody have that when they get excited, maybe? Oh, <gasps> a curious napkin! This <laughs> there! That voice! Curious napkin! Like Nepe! We got finally a new like Nepe! This collectibles. All the world's a stage. Wait! <gasps> you shouldn't get forbidden knowledge by finding collectibles. Now we got a secret objective. What? Show bonus text. Life is a stage play performed to no one. It's Jorge! Applauded by no one. And wanted by no one. A story already written. Meant to play out in one way only. I wrote my book in order to explain that there might be more to life. That free will isn't Hi, truly free unless it moves against the expected. In retrospect, I think my ambition was hubristic. Yermi had a much more humble suggestion. What if we all just went home? Yeah. <laughs> what if we all just went home? Yeah, screw it all. Um, what do they mean secret objective? That's something I can do now? Secret objective. Give the kid something to play with. Race without horns. <gasps> Look. We got a objective. Race without horns. Give the kids something to play with. Oh. What kid? I guess we'll have to see. 
find someone here. Hello, ding ding. Oh, I'm trying to click on the other guy. Hotel Bill. Single room, dinner, telegram. Mr. Ted Stryker. 21st of December. Nay, 21st to 25th. Hmm. Hotel St. George. Single room, dinner, telegram. Such a lonely day, such a lonely day. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting of the signature. Ted Stryker. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. Da, da, da. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Will I find the kid? Something about that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. It sounds vaguely familiar. I don't know if it does. Vaguely familiar. Hunting game rifles. Stones. Ding ding ninety. Left. Okay. Living in a pet the hotel California. Huh. I still have no healing, so hopefully we won't die or anything. House falling apart. <coughs> oh my gosh, I'm sneezing so much! I'm gonna be featured in at least five compilations today. Huh. Spider web. Thank you for the blessings, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Not coded? Co coded? I think it might be allergies. I this room, but I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Oh, wait, this was the red thread. I need to go here first. No. Can't go here. Oh, wait. It turned scary. So many SNES compilations! <laughs> Yay! Um, no, I think I'm having allergies. It's starting to get springtime, but also... In general, I just sneeze sometimes. I don't live in my house. I don't know if I would get sick. <laughs> I don't live the house. <laughs> you would have to go to the outer night to meet people. Sometimes you're just gonna hit that yoinky or loinky. What the heck is that? <laughs> Hairless. <laughs> Haggies. Hi, thanks for being here. Still remember the 1500 sneeze? Yeah, that was a good time. Can't believe we, we sneezed that many times. The Yerma meme. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't watch a lot of Yerma. Thorn Hills. Fine Art Gallery. Okay, business card, um, suspicious. Wait, there's something on the ground here. The with boarding school. They kidnapped a the child just to put it in boarding school? It's starting to get summertime here. 36 Celsius! Oh my gosh, Indigo, uh, stay hydrated. Get your fans ready. I hope you're gonna be able to chill a little bit. <laughs> it's very warm, considering it's just April. And April just begun. Squall! Sikidonian, thanks for being here. Hello! Let me turn this over. Then Striker rented a room for four nights at Hotel St. George. The Wheat Boarding School. Oh, 
In Tallahassee, Florida. Oh, that must be there then. Then we contact Mrs. Robin. $300 per year? Be fifty dollars. Right. running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New Orleans to find something better in Tallahassee, and he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. It said three fifty dollars for the Kung Fort painting. Okay, we ran after him, but we lost him. Dang, this hotel seems to have a bit of a leak. They should call a plumber. Pretty dang watery here. Is the above normal so we should drop down before the hot months? I hope so. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Oh, he's forgetting that he, like, failed his case or something. And, and that this is his past haunting him, uh, like, some bad memories. Because that is always the case with this. It feels like he, there is something that he's pushing away in his memory. Right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. I think that is it. Wait, are we not having the objective to find the kid something to play with? Okay, never mind. We do. I mean, watery! I'm telling you, this is basically an Alan Wake. It's sequel. Threequel? What's it called when it's the third game in a series? Alan Wake Trilogy. Is it just called Trilogy? Where on earth? Alan sleep. Yeah, Alan. <laughs> Alan, wake. Wake up. Yeah, At maybe Ati's here. Ati. Ati. Oh no, I don't know what will progress the game. I need to save. I'm I'm gonna need to save. Third slot. I don't wanna accidentally progress the game and miss one of the directions. Okay, that is the right way. When Ella wakes speedrunning, <laughs> I don't think we're doing that anytime soon, but you never know I guess. Hecky wake, yeah, that's my name. That's what they call me. Okay, this is just a loot place. Like Nyepe! <gasps> like Nyepe! Profane totem! Goat without the horns. This is also a secret objective. Edward had heard the whispers for years. He did? When he lived in Brooklyn, it was only on rare occasions. Like when he as a child climbed that tall tree in Central Park. Or when he almost drowned in the Hudson River trying to save his despaired mother. The whispers became more common as he moved to New Orleans, but still rare enough to be ignored. Now as he walks the halls of Darseto, he knows what is calling him. He doesn't want to admit it, but the dark young in the conservatory is telling him to sacrifice the Cabri San Corn. Not the Cabri San Corn! Chet! Time to hand in your Capri Sons! We're going sacrifice. Oh no! Oh no! I bro, I'm stuck. I don't have any healing. I died. How am I supposed to? I can't turn around with the dang controller. Just <laughs> going for the six 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 beats. Thank you. I'm not sure what happened. No, really? Okay, we didn't do much. We just walked, honestly. I was just very slow looking for collectibles. 
I said, no, really, but it's like... How far away are we? Not far away at all. It's gonna take like 30 seconds to get to where we died. I need to be prepared. Wait, I keep forgetting that I have a melee weapon. I can just swing that if I'm in a like... In a situation with... Where I'm... In a... In a pickle. Oh, the Lagniappe will still be collected. Oh. Oh, yeah. Leave an offering at the Whispering Tree. Yo. An offering. Living in a Petticoatal, California. You are so welcome, everybody who has that stuck in their brains now. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Erlich, did you get those objective popping up? But like, it didn't. It you just didn't. You weren't able to do them. Oh my gosh, it's her! Grace, she's here! Hi, Grace. Hi. What's up? I can't believe I didn't recognize you. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day just... How long ago was that? So much is happening. I can't. I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean, I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. So. Lies. More lies. He didn't no, manage really. to save her. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over your mother. I didn't know. I did, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. Oh. He did find her. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Yeah. That's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? Was that what happened? He rescued them? Can I really save them? This all happened so long ago. I have to find a way to get down there. I have to see it with my own eyes. There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise <gasps> the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. That's where they are. Does he not remember what happened? Oh, I guess he didn't save the dad. Yeah, he saved her. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? That's his guilt. Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. This kid is so strange. She... We still don't know why she plopped a syringe. Like, she literally syringified. When we played as the other character, she was like, Oh, let me give you a hug. And then she went Bit! in our back. I'm not sure what that was about and why, but... Maybe we'll come to... Don't worry, kid. I'll think of something. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> Maybe we will remember or get that answer. Okay. Grace, uh, I'll uh, do my best. What a little rascal. Yeah, right? Okay, Grace, I will help you in a second, but I need to, like, um, figure out uh, if there's any collectible here first. Okay. 
Uh, not really a collectible. No. <gasps> Cece's! Hi! Are we at the very scary part or of the game or safe to look? I honestly have no idea. I haven't played this part before. So viewer discretion is advised. It seems like we are about to save somebody who have landed in the water. So there might be some... Uh, some, uh, some... Some scene that could be... A bit... Uh, um, sad? It seems like this is a memory of our past though. So we're gonna save the girl. But probably not be able to save... The other guy and that's why we have this memory we are like having guilt probably we have guilt over the fact that we managed to not save the dad and so the dad kidnapped the kid because the mom was not a nice person is that what this means maybe Thank you, Sissies! It's a... Uh, well, it's a bit accidental, I guess. But I'm glad it looks good. Yeah, his kid. It's him and his kid there. This da, must da, be da, the da, da, da. Okay. This part is completely different than Emily's playthrough. It's like something's holding it back. This never happened in Emily's playthroughs. Holding his back. Oh my gosh, it's a tentacle! Ah! I need to fight the tentacles. I think... Um, can I not attack it? I think... Uh, Emily might have had this the, the whole part when she went... In her husband's trace, tra traces, tracks. It might be that this is different because they have their own. Um, like this is his demons, right? And she had her demons, so this this is what he is fighting in his mind something from his past that he struggles with is this timed because i am not sure where to go do i just shoot at it oh oh that works <laughs> oh no and there's flying things so many of them I only have one bullet how do I not I I I'm not able to pick that up because I'm full in my hatchet but I can't swing my hatchet I can't pick up a melee but I don't have a melee it's a bit frustrating It's a bit frustrating. <laughs> Is it gonna be fine now? Hey, should be able to pilot the boat. Oh, 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 oh. Are you in here? No. This is so strange. The auto aim really helps with the flying enemies. I don't think I have auto aim on, do I? <laughs> do I have auto aim? I hear noises, but I don't know where, where they're coming from. I don't think I have auto aim. Oh yeah, I do. If I do that. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I do have auto aim. 
Okay. But I can't use my melee weapon. This is very uh, uh, troublesome. Um, um, um. So, yeah, we're. Uh, w when the game starts, says this, you get to choose between two different characters. If you've seen Stranger Things, you might recognize this guy. He's also been in other things, but I feel like a lot of people recognize him from Stranger Things in particular. Um. And uh, the, depending on which one you choose, there is a slightly different, slightly different things that you play through. For example, this is completely new for this character. I did not do this when I played as as the girl. Oh wait, I gotta get to the boat. Wow, they're really... I hope they're holding their breath over there, because... Or rather, I hope this is not timed. Because, um... I'm not being very fast at rescuing them. <laughs> I don't know for what this game have weapon if Brick is OP. Brick is... No, my Brick hasn't done anything. My, uh, when I have been using bricks, nothing has happened. Were fewer enemies there than during my playthroughs? Hmm. Door blue also got the main. 10k hours in Destiny 2. What? Division 2. Nice. I played a lot of Counter Strike before. That's about it. No, I play a lot of Overwatch actually. Starch? Did you see Emily was sitting in there? Oh my god, Carnby. Are you okay? Don't leave me alone. What the hell have you been doing? What's we're going just, on? We're just here? chilling in the bathtub? Mess. I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house. Now get out! Uh. Taking my head. Hey, Detective. Mr. Carnby. I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. <coughs> this place? It's. She is doing. There are some very. Chance in the bathroom? Here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain. Yes, yeah, see, things. there's something in the air. What? Just take it easy, okay? I'm gonna go find a way into Dr. Gray's apartment. I wanna know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Can we just say, don't leave us alone? And she just walks away? Mishpalko, thank you for one beat! What the heck? Yeah, yeah. So let the, give the child something to play with. Can we go in here? No. Okay. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't stream Overwatch. No, I play it in my. Oh, I'm not going in there. She's clearly had enough of me. It has. Oh, it's writing so many notes. Conby had run their car off the bridge. He pulled Grace out of the sinking car, but left her father to drown. He could have saved him. There was time. He just chose not to. Instead, he took Grace back to New Orleans and collected his paycheck. Oh, that's what his guilt is. He decided not to save the one guy. Oh. Give the kid something to play with. Live an offering at the Whispering Tree. Pay Dr. Gray a visit in his apartment. 
Why does the little notes come keep coming up? <laughs> Do we have a bug in the little note in the top right? Oh, it's very purple. Hello? Oi, 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 we're having some legs. Okay, there is... There's still some loot in the sitting room. What is that for? Let me, let me, let me through. Good night, Indigo, take care. Nothing, nothing. Really, I can't go back in there? That was it, chat. We missed it. Collectible stuff. <laughs> Hello? stairway still dr gray's apartment always oh, thought what was it that happened when we went there last time let's let's go downstairs let's go make an offering and do the other objectives there's everything whispering everywhere ah. go anywhere that's where it switches to the overhead cam. Exactly. And will everything be fine after that? I do not remember. Is this the point of no return? No. No, that was... I had I time to... I got a job to do. <laughs> I think... I think I can only go there right now. Yeah. I guess there will be time. What? He's walking right into our trap? What do you mean I followed him? He's ready. What? Perosi's room? Perosi? But she's dead. What? How was she talking? I'm following him right now. He's walking right into our trap. The heck? Oh! Okay, I think the only door we can take is this one. Oh yeah, it's lagging so much. I'm sorry about that. Very laggy. Hello? Fixed camera oh, angles. Detective, am I glad to see you? Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. <laughs> What's going on here? This feels so strange. Yeah. Why is this whispers? This wasn't a thing when we played as her. Hello, Emily. Have you found anything? Yeah. What? Y yeah. We've seen uh, so yeah, many I've things. Seen things okay let me know if there is anything you want to talk about yeah i would like to talk about it because everything is weird emily please let me talk to you please i want to talk to you emily you don't find this place strange emily Dorsetto is certainly one of the stranger places i've been to yeah but emily i feel like i'm i feel like things are emily listen this room feels too real, hyper real, more than anything I've ever experienced. <laughs> hyper real? Okay. I don't see what you mean. Forget it. I gotta get back to breaking the contract. <sighs> yeah, that's what I was Hick. No offense, Hickey? Wait, no offense to what? So strange. False book. It's a hollow book. Let's put it in the hollow bookcase. <laughs> Into the bookcase. What did you do? I was just opening a door. Rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. 
secret room. So this is not the, this part is not like in our heads, but this is actually for real that there is like a hidden doorway here. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. It's a cult. They're running a cult. Do you think there is gases here? I talked to her. <laughs> there. What were you saying about mass delusion? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer the black goat of the woods with a thousand young or shubnik. Do you think that they and are that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind? They're saying that is in the area. It's affecting people in the area. Must be something with it. I think all of them are in this cult business, even Jeremy. I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. Or is it just mass hysteria? Or what it was called? I can talk to her more. I've been so busy trying to free your uncle from the promise he made to the dark man. I guess I kind of just let everything else go. Don't worry, detective. I feel like we're close. I'm sure Jeremy will turn up. If he is part of the cult, he is he gonna get lobotomized? I just need enough information to make him see the truth. I hope you're right, but I doubt he'll show up. Not as long as the dark man's got him hiding. When we played as Emily, we eventually found a monster that we stabbed in the eyeball, and it turned out that it was actually Jeremy, so he kind she kind of accidentally lobotomized her uncle. And, uh, well, I guess I'm hoping that... Oh my gosh, the opposite controls. I guess I'm thinking that hopefully... Hopefully that won't happen this time. Furniture key. I'm there this whole time. This guy who can point his scope in a general direction after 10k hours. I'm not that smart. Well, as long as you're having fun. I spent a couple of thousand hours in Counter Strike. I was not great. But I had fun. Extreme Apple Fan, three stream streak. Let's go. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching three streams in a row. First meeting Good to fans. Great. Meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother Philip. This one we found. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from the Seattle, no? This is Jeremy That's that we're looking right. for. I just wanted to ask you. And his voice actor questions. sounds like. To see if there is anything I can do to help you. Good music and morning, Link. Okay. Bad. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Andrew. dark man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? No. Juan Luis Jorge. Wait there a moment. Wait a moment. Here, take a look. Is he... Oh, he is the author. Yeah! Uh, Andrew, thank you so much for coming by. It was nice meeting you. Thanks for joining us tonight. Have a wonderful sleep. We'll catch you uh, at some other point if you want to hang out. You know where to find us. Honest drunk Norwegian opinion. You're doing freaking great. What? I'm getting a compliment from a Norwegian chat. A Norwegian thinks we are doing a good job here on stream. And I'm Swedish. That is one of the big things a big deal not as big as if a danish person were to give us a compliment but almost up there almost up there i'm ready to face hecky 1v1 in counter strike i'm nearly certain i would catch a bullet with my head <laughs> that would take some skill up yeah i'm sure 
Um, let's go for 1v1. Wait, but I'm gonna 1v1 Drongo. Hmm, I guess we're all gonna get in on a 1v1. We won. 1v1, we won, we won. 1v1. <laughs> 1v1. Wait, can you do 1v1, we won? Oh, it's just a free for all, I guess. Okay. Uh, wait, page two. I forgot. Hear me. It's a magnificent book. Life changing, even. The real one is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. See? I see. Is Link dead? You often do this. Fantasize about people you read about. No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Jacob? Turn to the last page. We never figured this out. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Oh, no, Doctor. Not at all. He is the fire that fights for. Yes, fire. I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. But what about the cult and, and everything? I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time, in time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons, all the dark men. Yeah! Please, Mr. Hartwood, calm yourself. It will happen. Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. <laughs> your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. I do wonder what he does because, like, it feels like Dr. Gray did something. Um. But I can't stop saying it sounds have you seen David after dentist? <laughs> oh he just stopped this toe, okay. Yeah it's, it's it reminds me of when the David after dentist kid is like getting out of his chair. Maybe he did go to the dentist actually. Maybe that could be it. Okay, Emily, I just found this transcript with you on it. That mark mind. on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? Okay, we're gonna figure it out. The snake the dagger. Snake dagger in monograph okay, we, we read Chan. this one before. Um, and it's basically about the dagger that we found in the desert temple. And it says about that the snake dagger is the way to, like, beat the demons, the devils. And that, um, the snake dagger, what is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head and not in their heart. The snake dagger always went through the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind if they had the luck to survive. So basically they use this dagger to use exor to make the exorcisms on people. Because they thought it would exercise, exorcise, exercise. Uh, it they thought it would remove the possessionness in the head, so that's why we have a dagger and we might, yeah. Dentist, do you know how exp wait, expensive to go to the dentist? Doesn't cost that much at all. It's free if you're up to a certain age. Good night. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good sleep. I went to the dentist just recently. And my dentist said, wow. Keep doing what you do. You don't have a single cavity. You don't have a single plaque. Nothing. So. Yolks and all the uh, commenters on Reddit who said I had bad teeth. <laughs> They're not uh, bad. They're very healthy. Yeah, thanks, right? They're very healthy. They just happen to be not very straight. Uh, I, I'm not getting good connection with the controller, by the way. I even floss. Yeah, and use mouthwash. I shipped my tooth. You paid 27 
Oh, 27,000 I wasn't. 2,700 Norwegian crowns. Hmm. I have never chipped a tooth, so I wouldn't know what it would cost here. Can you do the flows? Yeah. Did it look like Fortnite? Um. Oh, I don't know what happened. My controller just died. <laughs> but now it's fine. Okay, time to... Take... How did I... Shoot, I forgot the talisman. There is nothing here. But there's somebody ringing the door. <laughs> the little silly books we have sometimes. <laughs> Uh, Los Bishopin, welcome in! Hello? Hello, you're on speaker! Hello? Hello? It, it, it can't be. Who is this? James. Jeremy? Jeremy, I mean. Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, I've done everything you wanted so far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy. Unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. <laughs> okay. I'll get away as soon as I found you. Oh. Investigate the broken cloak. Crabs! What was this one? Shoot! Oh, right, I forgot. Now is the time. Now we look inside on the floor here. Uh, uh. And we're just gonna make that shape. On the bottom, on the bottom, and on the top. Wait, 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 let me go back. What, it, it, at least in that hallway, it's so hard to control what direction you're going, right? Top one is the outer one, and then the other two are down. Hope is out there. You can only run during the room transition part here? Yeah! This is so silly. Okay, like so. Like so. So. I, I can't stop sneezing! <laughs> okay, time to go to Narnia, chat. We did this in, uh, in what's her name? In Emily's playthrough? Which is so hard, this you hallway. Okay? You look a little frazzled. Yeah. Just stupid telephone. I know, I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's not... Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Yeah, I totally didn't just ring now. Uh, listen up, I'm gonna go to Narnia, okay? You, you're gonna be okay? You, uh... Yeah? You're right? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh Ms. my god. <laughs> I think you're gonna wanna see this. Is there something in the closet? <laughs> yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. It's fine. Fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? No. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harwood. Goodbye? <laughs> I think this was better when the, when the roles were reversed and she was like, does this look like a normal closet to you? And he was like, yeah. She was like, I thought so. Bye. <laughs> it was much... Much more just like, yeah, I'm I know this is silly, I'm but I'm going in. Okay, here we are inside the closet chat. It's a very big one. <laughs> Narnia is uh, ready to go. It likes like that on PS5 too? That's so strange. Who's that Pokemon? It's news. Yeah, it sure is. Is this a ship, by the way? I don't think I ever figured this out. Like a ship. 
Okay, I would need some um, healing items. That would be really nice. Now we have the flare gun and flares. And an ice pick. Am I able to use it now? Okay, I am. Melee didn't work for a bit, but now it does. Greenland we Expedition. Found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Jacob Van Oh yeah, this is something about member of the expedition. You can stop this one. This is something about this is suddenly we are in Greenland and there is this just like they're they're looking for um stuff. <laughs> they're looking for stuff in Oh, I can Lean back so nice in this chair. Wow. Um, and that there were there were some expedition, and then somebody was like, You go ahead, I'll stay behind. And they kept on saying, like, go forward. Woo -woo! It's a raid, it's a party. party, Woo -woo! party. Oh my gosh, are we getting raided? Wow, -wee! thank you so much ever. What the heck? Thanks for thank you for bringing your people over. Hello, Cybertrash, hello, yay, welcome in Coral. Thanks for joining Nomi, DC Pixie, hello, KP Goldie, hello everybody. Natalie, thanks for joining as well. Triple Bud, hi everybody, Bean, Homer, Barlow, thank you everyone for running. Hi, welcome. And of course, the one and only Cybertrash, thank you for running. Hi, welcome. Thanks so much for joining. The bearded, thank you for your 10 month sub. <gasps> thank you, double digits. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Hi, everyone. Oh my gosh, Ever, how was your stream? Tell us all about it. What were you up to? Also, readers, hello. If we haven't met before, it's nice to meet you. Hello, thanks for joining. It gets, you can call me Heggy. I'm from Sweden. We go stream all kinds of different games in here. We're in the middle of uh, Fallout New Vegas, actually. We play that a lot. But well, recently we have been playing through this game, Alone in the Dark, that came out uh, like two weeks ago. We've been binging it a little bit, but today is the day that we finished the game completely. So, um, your discretion is advised. This is a horror um, survival, but it's more like Resident Evil kind of horror rather than um, like, I don't know, something that is like mega yump scary all the time. Shakes hacker's hand. Thank you. Yeah, let's go, Coral. Thanks for using your Prime Sub in here out of other places. Thanks for uh, for uh, choosing us this month. Thank you so much. Happy five months. Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. We have played it for a long time, actually, Quarries. We've been playing a lot of Fallout New Vegas, and um, we finished the, all the DLCs already. So we're, like, about to wrap up that game. But that's been really cool. I'm hoping to finish Fallout New Vegas before Fallout... London comes out, which is a fan-made Fallout that comes out in the end of uh, April. So, very exciting. Lots of Fallout. And there's a Fallout TV series coming as well. Good times. It's a good time to be a fan of Fallout. Um, Chat, you're looking so good today. Yeah, right, TP, including you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, from the land of Ikea. We were doing final night of partner celebration streams. Bunch of community game, chat, guesser, gothic phone, party animals. Ever, can you do this again? Like, uh, on a day that I am not streaming on, so I can also your name. Please and thanks. Awesome. Really glad we had this talk. Uh, thanks. Um, because uh, I am so upset I missed all of that. I would have loved to join in. I love Community Night and Ever's channel. So much fun. Um, I hope you had a lot of laughs. Readers, well, I know you did. You hung out with Ever and all the community games, so um, I'm jealous of you. But I'm sure it was a lot of fun. Thanks for coming over here after such a big celebration. Welcome. Hi and hey. How dare you do it on a day I can't join? Exactly, KP. Shaking my head, my head. Hmm. Anyway. My brother sent me a GIF on Messenger a while ago featuring Heki. What? Heggy is on nine gag trending. Wait, Heggy is on nine gag in trending section. Lilot, is I'm so I'm so sorry. Does nine gag still exist? I thought it was gone. He didn't know who you were, but you were dancing in the gif. 
That's so funny! Okay, something is super... Some, okay. Ever... Wait, did you... Ever, did you... Did I tell... Did you see... I remember writing it. I don't remember if you saw. Uh, hi, Ever. Hi, it's good to see you. Chad, if you're not following Ever, you should uh, do so. Um... You should go like, comment, subscribe on his channel. He's pretty dang great. The community is really awesome. There's a lot of fun people in there uh, to hang out with and during community night, but also uh, fun things to do uh, on the streams in general. Uh, lots of different types of games going on there. Ever also recently got partnered, so if you didn't wish him a happy congrats on partner, uh, you can do so now. Your clip is on 9gag trending. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? So, okay, Raiders, hi. Uh, thank you for coming in. Uh, if you got a read and run, ever, that goes for you too. Please uh, do so. Take care of yourself. Um, do post stream, self care, all of that stuff. Please eat and have uh, have good times. If anybody wants to stick around, welcome in. Feel free to grab a seat and sit down. Uh, it's been a wild day today. We apparently went uh, on the front page of Reddit. Number one, uh, number one front page on the entire website. <laughs> it's been a weird day. We've had a lot of people come in from Reddit, um, and uh, it, we're just—it's just been a very strange day overall uh, with all of that. And now you're telling me that somebody has posted it on Nine Gag and it's trending there. I can't. I oh. I must say, I didn't know 9gag was still around. I didn't know it still existed. Uh, but cool! Cool. That was like... Old school meme website. Yeah, what a throwback, right, Ben? 9gag. Uh, this same clip that is uh, that made it to Reddit and now 9gag, I guess. Um, made the front page of Imgur like four months ago. And that was also a wild experience because there was a lot of people who came over. So I don't know what's going on with this clip in particular, but it's it has its life on its own. I don't know what's going on. People have reposted it on all, like on all. I don't know. It's been everywhere now. No. I don't know if anybody has posted it on Instagram. If they did, I missed out on it. Other than that, I've seen it on on like everywhere. It, it's been everywhere. A clip that keeps on giving. Yeah. <laughs> It's got a life on its own now. <laughs> Nine tag commentators are mega weird. Oh, are they? <laughs> are they? I think the Imgur people were really wholesome and the Redditors have been actually surprisingly like nice. People coming in at least from the from there. Very, very weird. Hmm, okay. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, Nine Gag is like if someone left Reddit in the oven for too long. <laughs> Nine Gag is still a thing. Yeah, apparently, Duder. Hi, Duder. It's good to see you. Um, apparently, I had no idea. I literally learned five minutes ago. We were trending on Nine Gag. Okay, I mean, I guess it's an honor. Wow, who would have thunk? Back in the days when 9gag was the place where everybody was sharing memes. And one day... My stupid face would be on there. <laughs> I'm trying to find a TikTok clip. Auto mode deleted, but I fail. Oh, wait, trying to find a Do you mean somebody else posted it on TikTok? To be fair, trending on 9gag means like 200 upvotes. <laughs> hey, I'll take it! That's funny. Um, that's, it's so it's such a weird. The, everything is so weird. Today is a weird day. What a strange thing. <laughs> but I'll I'll uh, I'm honestly yeah I'm just happy that people have found the clip funny. Like if we manage to make people a little have a little laugh, then I'm like uh, that's a win. I'm glad to have provided some happiness to people that's like the the goal hoping to have somebody have a slightly posi positive impact on their day um i posted it but auto mod got me wait you should be able to post it auto mod you should be able to post links 
you are subscribed now and you have been in stream for over uh an hour hmm can you try posting it again i don't think we're seeing any i didn't see a pop-up at least Chrisant, did you see a automod thing maybe it's twitch itself that doesn't want a link Oh, the beginning of the stream! Oh, okay, yeah, I missed that one. So somebody else posted it on TikTok today as well? Or is that the... Reddit post? I'm so confused. Uh, well, anyway, uh, spoiler alert if anybody's coming in with the, with the red or anything. Uh, spoiler alert, this game, uh, we are in the end of it. I say spoiler alert, this was like nine minutes ago that we got rid of. Um, spoiler alert, we're towards the end of the game, so a little bit uh, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, your ears are covered. Okay, they will have to be covered for the rest of the stream, dude, because or you will get spoiled. <laughs> or you will get spoiled. Oh, that's the... No, but wait, is that not my own clip? My own TikTok? Basically, anyway, they, they had a green lighting expedition and there was somebody who was like, please go on without me, and he didn't, and they they left. That was the story behind that one. That was, that was the story about that thing. Okay, now we're moving on. Here is where I'm wondering if there is collectibles, He's actually. by his failure to make Emily understand what he was doing. Detective Conby actually felt better seeing the frozen hell before him. Yeah, we're in there hell. Was a finality to it. In Hellheim. Its clear symbolic opposite to the dark man's desert made him realize this was the end. Stand. Soon it would all be over. Also, our objective says light your way forward. Is that what I was supposed to do with the Flare gun because we did not do that before. Oh, it's Yump King. The Yump King clip, clip got also featured in other places. I don't know if there is extra collectibles here in the winter. Oh, that's what they mean, light away, maybe. That's what I thought you had to do, and that's what I did. Right. I didn't do that the first time. Uh, like Neapis, there's a more here. Dying with dignity, prisoner eyes. This is the one I thought there's gonna be something with. No, wait, are you telling me, like, I missed... I only have two left to find. I probably missed them. This is like so late in the game. Paciencia, hello, welcome in. Alone in the dark goes pretty well. Thanks for asking. I think we're towards the end of the game. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we are towards the end of the game. Considering the fact that we did play this with Emily before, and this was towards the end. Oh, what's that? Oh. One, one, one p.m. Uh, around that time, Quavis. Yeah. Preferably a little earlier start, but but around that time. It's a little flexible. <laughs> kind of just double checking if there's any collectibles here, but I guess there isn't. Before I go look through the entire winter area, Erlich, was there or Toyu? Is there a collectible in the winter here? Like, I'll go there. Not there, remember? Okay. 
Now let's go to the Northern Lights. Look how beautiful! Wow, it's like being in Sweden. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Aurora Borealis. I don't recall there being one either. Okay, that's good. This is Nisselin's backyard. This is what you can see pictures of in the Discord sometimes. Because Nisselin is uh, sharing. Sharing picture pictures. Pistol bullets. Hi, Von Nislin. No, but Nislin is there. <laughs> uh, uh, why am I walking so slowly? You were getting frozen. Hi, yeah, what is choo -choo. that? Choo choo! Already? It looks like a big spinning thing! And what's that? Is that Yermi? Why am I so slow? Oh. Aurora I... Borealis. At this yeah. time of year. Yeah. This time of day. Yeah. This part of the country. Yeah. Localized entirely within your kitchen. Monksy. Thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for your tw 21 months. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting hey, this too. What are you doing here? Welcome. What is this place? Turn back, detective. You're not wanted here. Whoa, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. Do you hear that this... You can hear it. It says kill Jacob van Ustad, but you could hear on the voice that that was Jeremy. Is there a way for me to, like, progress without killing him? Because this is when when you fought here as Emily, we got um, where? When we fought here as Emily, that's when we lobotomized him. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I have no choice but to fight him. Sister Poof! Hi! Ah! <laughs> Hear me stop! Am I actually shooting my like weapon at him in real life now? Where? Yeah, I mean, you can't just come from behind and flank like that. Okay, I got a lot of healing for some reason. He's like, he's able to teleport, I think. Like, randomly appears behind us. I wish I didn't have to kill him. Because I feel like I'm gonna stab him in the eye again. I don't want to lobotomize him. Hear me, I'm so sorry. Died it. Lobotomy time! Well, first we gotta do this thing, I think. Align the stars. Sacrificial get dagger. having people involved for the good ending i don't know if there is a good or bad like uh, if there's a change tourist i figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned jeremy or maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours i i i don't yeah i don't i don't think we have a choice and that the ending can change it's always gonna be like that Okay.
I don't know where it's supposed to start. Here? Here we go. Sushi poo? Stop with you. A good look of to make it clear your head. I don't know if it's recommended. him like what if I just what if I don't lobotomize he's back in my arm <laughs> what if I what if I can why am I shooting through him or is he getting on fire he's on fire it's always the option to let him kill you instead yeah I guess those are the only opens I have. No, look at it! I have to stab him now! I feel so bad about this. Do I really have to? Can I let it play out without lobotomizing him? You don't dare me! Oh, he got up and running again! Bricks do nothing. Um, I want to. I feel bad. Look, he's just—he's really just coming for a hug. You just tire him out, right? <laughs> Just run until he stops running, and that's it. You can hear me? Okay. Doesn't look like we can do anything else. Wait, we didn't stab him in the eyeball. Oh, I have to do this a couple of times. I see. This is kind of cute with the arms flapping around. I know, right? Oi, that took a lot of damage. Wait, why is it becoming icified? Am I getting cold? Do you see this ice around? Am I taking too long? Maybe if, if I freeze to death, I won't lobotomize him. Could that be it? That outfit is on the thin side for the weather. Yeah, maybe that's why we're getting cold. Oh. Oops. I guess we're gonna have to kill him. Yeah, where's Nesleen? Do you see Nesleen running around? He must be taking pictures somewhere. Nesleen, where are you at? Maybe this is Nesleen? <laughs> what? Nesleen, you're supposed to take pictures of the weather. I'm sorry. It's eyeball stabbing time. Tapoli, welcome. Does this mean we stabbed him in the eye again? I'm trying, but there's some guy shooting me. I'm so sorry. Doctor, doctor. We're falling through the entire game. So he got lobotomized again now. Is he dead this time too? Jeremy? Jeremy! 
Wait, it didn't work this time. This is not how it... This is not what happened for Emily, was it? I did everything! Aren't you happy? Did he not get lobotomized this time? Charlotte, what more do you want from me? There's a monster inside. my mind! Oh, my love! Doctor! Baptiste! Wait! Jesus. What were you thinking, Carpe? Who are we attacking? Was that... Was that Cassandra? The heck? We are in a wheelchair now? Do we... Wait, what happened to us? Did we not just fall over the... Did we break something? You awake? You are awake. Mr. Conby's up. Hey, buddy. I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> Come on out and join us, will you? I'll save you some gumbo. Good to have you back. Why are we so... You gave us all a good scare. What happened? Oh, never mind. a psychological breakdown. Oh, the drugs. You're being violent. You stabbed Jeremy and then punched Dr. Gray. Are they. Is okay? Jeremy okay? Did he get lobotomized? A little strange. No. But everything's back to normal. Jeremy's lobotomized. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? What do you mean everything is back to normal? They weren't even affected by that stuff, were they? Jeremy, yeah, try to well, avoid this. I know. It isn't the hero. How are you feeling, Detective? Never better. How about you two? Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? I thought I would have another Things chance to walk around. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? No. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher, you managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. I did what? We did it. It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have been helped without reducing his personality to that of an It's oyster. not like I hadn't considered but it myself. He's gonna live. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. And it's so beautiful, like, with the, all the lamps and everything horrible i know we found notes where he said like what he wrote about it but i didn't think he would actually be like yeah well i kind of considered it does emily know about jeremy's condition yes she seems to be handling it quite well under the circumstances yeah i know isn't it so pretty i would hate for something gruesome to happen here does she still want to take jeremy away from dorsetto I will have to insist that you do. This is not that kind of institution. Yeah, what could that be? Jeremy, hang on for a little longer, okay? We'll be going back to New Orleans soon. Oh, good. I do so miss the city lights. Jeremy, no. Surely nothing will happen. So this is like the end stuff. We can talk to every Can we go inside the house now though? Because there is still places we didn't go. You see there's purple places there. Am I screwed? Yeah, that was it. I missed out on some collectibles, I guess. Suddenly, my map is of no use. The heck? Hey, Ruth. We missed some Glad stuff. You made it back to Dorsetto. You too, Detective. Make sure to stay for the festivities. It's no Mardi Gras, but 
It ain't bad. It ain't bad, she says? Okay, so we played through this area as Emily before. It is quite disturbing. There's some cult activity about to happen. So viewer discretion is advised, but we are gonna see that soon, I guess. Piano fairy, yeah, things are going in high. I saw her packing some things into that old jalopy you arrived in about an hour ago. I'm sure she hasn't given up on you yet. Uh, are we still able to do the other objectives? Catch you later. <laughs> Looking forward to it, detective. Will we though? <laughs> Will we though? Catch you later. Case closed. Detective Convy had found Jeremy and brought him back to Dersetto. He worried that Emily wouldn't be all that happy with his performance, considering Jeremy's impromptu brain surgery. Yeah, it's quite a big deal, actually. Maybe she would to pay him in full. It was the kind of thought that would normally infuriate Convy, but right now he just felt happy to be back. No matter if he would be seeing the $150 or not, he couldn't wait to rendezvous with Emily and go back to New Orleans. So this is kind of strange. It says grace without horns. Give the kid something to play with, but it doesn't say, say the thing about the offering anymore. Okay, here is you. Hmm. Looking good. Good she to got see there. you back on your feet, detective. Have some gumbo. No, don't eat Thanks. it. Thanks. I'll save it for later. She was so violently staring. Uh, we know from sneaking around that I think she's making this gumbo out of cats. <laughs> from sneaking around at Ooh, earlier points. It's a raid! Arma! Jagan, good night. Sleep well. Arma, thank you so much for running. Hi! How was Stun? What were you up to? Didn't you raid us at the, like, in this particular area of the game, last time we played the game, I think. Pray of for the gods. What's that? Pray. Wow. Cool. I probably did. Yeah, it's gonna be a little uh, things happening right now. Um, like Battle of the Colossus. Oh, really? Oh, cool. I never heard of it. I hope it was a wonderful time. Thank you so much for running in. Welcome in, also. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Marin. Uh, I thank you for coming in. I saw you there. Um, thank you so much for thinking about us. Thank you for wanting to bring your raid over here, Ava. Um, I really liked no Battle of the Colossus. Do you mean Shadow of the Colossus? Because I played that one, and that one was really good. Seems like everyone's in a pretty good mood. Is, if the that's the that Saint one. John is the most important date of the whole year. It's the only day when the black goat of the woods tends to her young. Ooh, don't know about the climb. Yeah, yeah, okay, Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, I really like that. I had a lot of fun. So I might have to might have to write down the name of this one, Ara. Hmm. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for a good tip. Um Is it new? Or is it something that's been out for a while? Sisterpuff, take care! Your energy and wholesomeness always makes me smile. Take care, Sisterpuff. I'm glad we can bring some good vibes to you. Thank you for being here. Thank you! Have good sleep! Uh, this sharp also, hello! Wanted to drop in a bit. Congrats on the Corsair sponsorship. Thank you! Also, I came to see the rollercoaster tycoon clip from Reddit is 10 out of 10. Thank you, sharp. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the clip. Yeah, now now we have to start wondering. Oh, did somebody did you see it on nine gag? <laughs> now it's making nine gag rounds. <laughs> it's, it's, it's having a life on its own. Um. I slept before the stream and it's going to work in an hour. Yeah, Toyo has a sleep schedule. Sleeping before the stream. And then watching the stream and going to work. It's so cool! <laughs> Waking up I'm gonna early. Go look for Emily. Don't worry about her. She wouldn't leave without you, would she? I wanna look for Emily, yeah. 
Do you think it's recent? Okay, Arva, I'll, ha I'll have to take a look. I'll have to remember it. Also, if you need to take some self-care after stream, Arva, please do, as always. It's very okay to read and run. Thank you for thinking about us and wanting to read. Thank you. Oh, straight to bed! Heck yeah! Have some good sleep, Arva. Take care. What are you looking for? Um, nice dreams. Just keeping an eye out for the storm. Radio says it could be a wild one. Wild one. Uh, but he was, was he wasn't he a bit of a skeptic in this cult? You don't know where Emily is, do you? She's packing some of Jeremy's things. Said she wanted to take him away. I'm sure she'll come and get you when she's ready. Uh oh, I didn't mean Should to skip. probably get a move on then. See you around, compare. Compare. The AI uprising has started and it began with a sentient hickey clip. What do you mean? The AI is taking over? Yeah, I wonder what could make this night wilder than it already is. Hmm. Let's talk to you. Hello? Alright, tell me. What the hell's about to happen here? Yeah, what's about to happen? Every year we have a little turn the page ceremony by the tree. Mm -hmm. It's symbolical. Symbol yeah. It's like life has its cycles of grief and happiness. Mm -hmm. You know? Just like a tree facing the seasons. Yep. Things change, but remain the same. All right. <laughs> so this is basically New Year's Eve, but with a tree metaphor. <laughs> exactly. You're so smart. It's about starting again. I mean, who could use a positive message like that more than a bunch of lunatics like us? I don't know what feels very positive and inspiring about this child. <laughs> I get the feeling some of you think this year is going to be special. Any idea why? Well, we got some new words, thanks to your buddy Jeremy. And some other changes to the program. Let's just say, we're all in this year. This is the weird part, that they are saying that Jeremy made changes to their chants or something. Oh my gosh, Yim! Hi! Thanks for coming by! Wow, look! Yim, yeah, Yim, the one and only. I hope you're enjoying the new Stardew up update. I still have not, not played Stardew ever in my entire life. One day, hopefully. What is the, why are there two different things to interact with? Not here. Hey, Grace! Hey, what are you up to? Preparing for the ceremony. I don't want to disappoint mother. By mother, they mean the tree. What's your part in this? I'm the Cabrissan corn. It's very important. The Cabrissan corn! Can settle our debt. She's the Cabrissan sun corn. You know, I had my doubts, but you are in the right place, Grace. No. I think you might be right. For once. Bro, he doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Complexity! Congrats on the Corsair sponsor. Thank as you. well as the clip blowing up again. Thank Happy you! Wiggle. <laughs> Thank you so much! Thank you! It's super exciting today. It's been a wild hacking week and it's only Wednesday. I can't believe it. Thank you so much, Complexity, for the four months of being subscribed. Thank you for wanting to support the stream. Thank you very much. I hope you're having a good day, Wednesday. Thanks for coming in. And, uh, yeah, welcome. Hi. Never cared much for the Capri Sun corn flavor. Yeah, I, I feel that, Smith Kid. I feel that. Um, she's in charge of the Capri Sun dispersal. Yeah, apparently. Uh, what is this I can interact with here? Give some Grace something to play with, yeah. Oi! I should have saved before. I don't know what's happening. This is new. Did she just run away? Did 
Did I accidentally choose an ending? You broke it! <laughs> hey kid, what are you up to? Nothing okay. much. Yeah. I don't know if that was a toy. Anything I'm gonna have to pay for. You're bored, aren't you? Yeah, I can tell. You wanna see if we can tear your mother away from the play? Can you believe they're still going? It's been hours. You forgot this. Well, I just didn't want you to think we had abandoned you in there. What has happened? Can we go home? What? Yes, please. Can we? What? You guys didn't like the play? It was all right. A little difficult. Are, to are they married? Is this <laughs> our child? Great. Let's just say there were moments where it uh, left me alone in the dark. <laughs> oh God. That's the name of the play. Whoa, That's the name of the know? game. Did you like it, sweetie? There should have been a hedge maze. A hedge maze? Uh-huh. And pirates. <laughs> that would have been fun. Well, maybe next time. Wait, did I accidentally do an ending? Or what just happened? What? <laughs> Chad, I'm so confused. You have to you have to fill in the blanks right now. Okay, this is so weird. Yeah, fine. They didn't all die. So okay, so for those of you who didn't know, when we played as Emily, there wasn't that option to give something to the child. So we just walked around, talked to everybody, and after that, um, we like. We like stood there and waited for the other guy and they all started the ceremony and the ceremony is about like sacrificing that child to the tree but she doesn't get sacrificed because we interrupt it um, and then throw a molotov at the tree and everything catches fire and the tree comes to life and starts attacking everybody and everybody dies gruesome deaths uh, and I'm very confused now what just happened? That was that was it. What is that supposed to be? Or, or is that like, did we just go home and bring the kid with us? Was everything a dream and we were always married? You unlocked that operation this playthrough. It was implies that the whole game was a play, and Grace's improvement suggests that improvement suggestion were things from Alone in the Dark Two OG. Oh. The original game does have pirates and a hedge maze. You in the sequel. Oh, it was all a video game the whole time. Dang, scary Drew, a video game in this day and age. Can't believe it. The one thing I come to this channel for is a good story game where everyone dies a horrible, painful death, and instead I get a nice, wholesome ending where everyone lives. Yeah. What is this? Is not what I signed up for? Wonder if it was because all of the lasagna thingies you collected? Yeah, it, I think we got the, the lasagna's collectibles so that we were able to choose this ending now. But would have the rest been the same? If I didn't do that, would everything have been the same in the end? Like, would I still have to fight the monster even if I play as him? Is there... There's no change between the ending, basically. No matter if I play as him or her. Okay. Very interesting. But also, I mean... <laughs> I'll take it. It was a nicer ending, for sure. I felt kind of bad that everybody died horrible gruesome deaths in the first playthrough. Um, except the kid, she survived. And Jeremy also survived. Um, but the whole place was just on fire and everything else was not great. So, uh, it wasn't really a fun time, I guess. 
But I'm very, um... Is this supposed to just be... Like, if you say that this is a... Is this how the first, the original game also could end? Was that just, uh... Look! It's the my Mind Flayer. Isn't that cool? But it's very, very Stranger Things. No. Wait, why are you saying... What are you saying no to? The first game didn't end like this. No, not like this, but like the other one. No. Wait. Here is the song that I got copyrighted on YouTube for. <laughs> that one I got copyrighted. Uh, at least it was a much nicer ending, I guess. But I did miss out on the... We did miss out on two Lagniapes. That would have allowed us to do other things. Give an offering to the tree was one. No. That was from a Lagniape we found and we didn't do. We found one collectible collection. About giving an offering. And then it was the... Two more that we didn't finish collections, and we don't know what that will go give. Thank you, Sessies! We beat the game again! I can't believe it! That's really cool, though. I'm glad... Um, I'm glad there was a way to, like, do a second ending. I was a little bit worried about this final boss fight that was gonna come up. To play that one on hard difficulty. So, I'm kind of glad that we skipped out on it. Because that took me quite some time to play on normal. I struggled with it. I thought so too, La Senza. I thought it would be a little more exploring. Because I have, for a long time now, tried to go around in the house. To the places on the map that weren't... That said that we have stuff to get in. And we weren't able to do that, so I guess, like, you get you get to the point of no return of, like, being able to walk through the house. Not that late. Like, I, I, all of the doors were locked when we were running around before we even went to, um, to the whole apartment of the owner. I don't even think I managed to talk to everybody who was standing in the room before I gave her the toy. I wasn't aware that was going to be a thing. Um, I would like to believe then that everything was just a play. If this is what <laughs> this ending implies, that everything was just a play this whole time. Nothing bad happened to anyone. Jeremy is fine. He's living somewhere. Oi, what does this mean? Non sum qualis eram. Is that Latin? Nine hours! Exactly almost. One and a half one and a half minute was probably in the in the credits. Um I feel like it was a little bit sudden. It feels a little bit sudden. That that happened, but um, I feel uh, still okay with it. Not to the normal ending. At least I will be stuck in the final boss fight for like two hours. No joke. Remember how long? Like it took me a full on hour to fight the boss fight on the normal difficulty. It means I'm not what I used to be, according to Google. Google. Meaning that everybody's gotten nicer, gotten progress. I love the achievement being called what just happened. I heard you, Google. Okay, sorry, Google. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Lord Google. I guess that means then that everybody got better. Co pilot the Latin phrase. Non sum equalis iram translates to I'm not what I used to be. Signifies a change in the speaker, often implying a sense of loss or transformation from previous state. Yeah! I don't think we got that in the early, in the first playthrough, did we? Maybe that means that we were able to... They, with this ending, get 
an even nicer transformation. Maybe it means that, yeah. Maybe it means that we are better off. I'm happy. I'll I'll take it. Also, can we see our previous? Didn't the first playthrough take us like 15 hours? So it was pretty... 15, was it that? We took one less stream. One less stream to play through this one. Pretty cool! I'm very glad that they came out with this. I'm very glad that they redid this. I'm not sure if uh, they have said anything about making more of these. If they are going to be uh, remaking... I know there are more games in the Alone in the Dark series. And I'm not sure if they are planning on remaking those as well. If they do, I would like to play. Are, are the other ones also good? Like, do they also feel... Uh, uh, it, or is it is it like, you know, Dead Space or something that they remade the first one and then maybe we shouldn't play the next, next one? Say, see, it was good seeing you. Everybody, if you didn't say it yesterday, you have one last chance to say happy birthday to Cessis. She had a freaking birthday. Sis, can I give you a plain plone? Can I give you a plain plone before you head off to bed? Because uh, it's was your freaking birthday. And I want to play your plone. Play the plone for you. Everybody? Amidst the jazzy music, I'm going to mute the jazzy music for a split second. Can play some plain plong. If you don't know what plain plong is, chat, let me tell you. This is what the plain plong does. When somebody in the community has birthday, we playing playing the plong. I will play this plong. You can join in by just grabbing your favorite hypo emotes and emotes that you're like, woo, um, this is a good celebration, suitable thing, and um, get ready to post them in the chat because I'm gonna play the plong and you do this and yes, mm -hmm. you ready? You ready to go? One, two are great, three, four are good. Okay, so then we can hope that they remake Alone in the Dark 2 then. If you talk to the tree, talk to the tree. Talked to the tree? No, I have not done that, Yuta. Easily get another ending. I just got the ending where I gave a toy to the girl. Uh, and I had a quest that said... We could sacrifice something to the tree, but we couldn't do that. Anyway, we're gonna play the plong really fast now for Sessis, okay? Before she needs to go to bed. But everybody, get ready. Are you ready? Chat? Sessis, this goes out to you. Take it away, chat. had a wonderful day i saw on the on the on the online that you were um, having a chill cake and lotter watching session sounds like a really hacking chill birthday i approve i hope it was a really cozy time that you could chill and have a a, a nice night treating yourself and um thanks for coming in here and letting us uh, Pling, pling the plong. Thank you, chat, for joining in on the pling plongs. Bravo, bravo. I tried my best. I tried my best. I have had, I have had some practice, so I, you know, tried to do it extra emotional. This is a uh, beautiful bin. Have some good sleeps. Take care. Sorry for stalling your sleep, uh, saying, telling you to stay a little longer so we could pling the plong. But thank you for coming by so we could do that. And many more. Exactly, Squirrel Master. Exactly. Um, anyway, yeah, we, we didn't... I don't know. I think we would have to play through the game another time in order to get the... If you say that there's another ending. So there are more than two endings. Is that what this means? There's more than, more than two? How many are there in total? 
du, 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 du. Um, a good transition here. Sorry, I'm having a little look around. There's two more. Five endings in total? Is this a good one, though? Is this a good ending? <laughs> I hope so. On a previous playthrough, the last autosave is at 14.52. Oh, so it took over 15 hours. Dang. Can we play through it as the Demogorgon next? Yeah, maybe. Just from the other... From the other side's... There's an extra ending for Carnaby, an extra ending for Emily, but you need to complete specific sets of gifts and do specific things. Right. Yeah, we still had... I think we got all the collections except two. But there was one thing that was like... We did manage to find the collectibles for the... Sacrifice something to the tree or whatever it said. Name, make an offering to the tree? What, whatever that one said. So I presume maybe that's another ending though. I didn't, I didn't realize these were endings. Interesting. I would be interested in taking them out, but I'm gonna take it as if this, as if this one is a good one. The normal endings are pretty much the same for both characters, right? I did the specific things, but they wouldn't trigger for me. So maybe they're they won't even work if I try. I had more cats. I don't know how I feel about that, scary Drew. I don't know if I feel good about that, considering they are probably. Uh, you know, inside of the Goombo. Hmm. Anyway, uh, shall we go and say hi to someone? This is, I guess, a good time to wrap, uh, wrap it up. What the heck is this game? Oh, we haven't been here in a while, have we? I can't control F. I don't think we have said hi to Ash in a real in a, in a real long time. Said hi to Ash. Said hi. Haha, <laughs> that's you know I made a joke. I made joke. Oh, she recently started. Awesome. Awesome. I have no idea what she's playing. Oh, okay, great joke. Yeah, thanks. Right? Wasn't that great? Wrap it up. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up. And this was really cool. Yeah, hi Ash. She says hi. Well, she will say hi as soon as we come over. I'm sure we'll, she will say a nice hello. Um, so we're gonna go on a bit. Thank you so much for hanging out for Alone in the Dark, everyone. This is super fun game. And what a roller coaster it's been today with Roller Coaster Tycoon. I was browsing Reddit and I recognized you in a video. Yes, Cold Light Oracle. We we have heard. We hit front page of Reddit today before before it has been reposted in several subreddits apparently, but one of them got on front page. Post number one on front page of Reddit. And then it got taken down because it was with a streamer. And no no gaming was allowed in that subreddit, but um, there are screenshots to prove we were we were number one for a moment. Very cool! Um, and I guess the other ones are still making rounds. Uh, thank you! If anybody came by from Reddit today and lurked in the stream tonight, thank you so much. Um, thank you if you've been watching the stream not from Reddit, but you've still been here and lurking or chatting. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, mods for modding. Thank you so much. Thank you if you've been watching the YouTube channel, watching the VOD, following this along on the YouTubes. Um, thank you for that. Thank you for anybody came with the raid. Thank you. What an exciting week. And the week is only just the beginning. <laughs> I actually found you from the original post <gasps> months ago with really complexity. That's awesome. Wow, we've come full circle. People who found the same clip but months ago. That's cool. Thanks so much everybody for being here. Um, it's late. I'm really hungry. I'm gonna go eat. But first, please join us for a raid to Ash. She is great. Let's go say hi to her. Um, grab a raid message. If you are a subscriber, you can copy the one with the sub emotes. If you're not a sub, you can copy the one without sub emotes. Uh, Kursan, thank you so much for the help. Thank you. And... Um,
Thanks everybody for being here. I will be back again tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Well, same time ish. You know, we, we vibe. Um, I think we're gonna play Fallout New Vegas tomorrow. We gotta continue that. Probably. Or the climbing game. Ah. Uh, we will see. Co come by tomorrow and you will know what we're playing tomorrow. <laughs> for now, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Rest of your night. Rest of your time. So, where we are. Thanks for being here. You're hacking best tat. The Pokemon. Bye bye. E <coughs> Bye. <coughs> Bye. <laughs>